So we've got a bunch of shapeshifting Mist Syndicate Nagas. We attack with them at our opponent who has no blockers. Their combat triggers to make clones of themselves go on the stack. And in response, we turn our Nagas into Biovisionaries. Move to end step. We control four Biovisionaries and we win the game. Join me as we explore this beautiful pile of jank. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over on cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you check out. Hey friends, it's Tomer and welcome back to Budget Commander. Today we'll be covering one of the weirdest commanders out there, Volrath the Shapestealer. Volrath comes with two abilities. The first ability lets you put a negative one, negative one counter on up to one target creature at the beginning of your combat step. The second ability lets you turn Volrath into a copy of a creature with a counter on it until your next turn. Except it's a 7-5 and it has this ability. So the basic idea with this card is that you weaken your opponent's creatures by putting negative 1, negative 1 counters on them, then have Volrath constantly shapeshift into the best creatures on the battlefield, except he's often going to be a bigger, beefier version since he's always a 7-5. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, yes, but actually no. Despite his relatively simple card text, Volrath has boundless potential for shenanigans which is fitting for a legendary shapeshifter. I've dubbed this deck Volrath's Bag of Tricks since we're full of weird trickery such as size tricks. Turn Volrath into a 7-5 version of creatures with abilities that scale off their size, letting you bounce 7 permanents with Cephalid Constable or draw 7 cards with Cold-Eyed Selkie. We can get even weirder with copy tricks. We can turn Volrath into a creature that can copy itself, such as Spawnwrite or Mist Syndicate Naga, making 7-5 tokens of that creature that can then make more copies of itself and still shapeshift into other creatures. There are tons of utility tricks at our disposal as well. Whatever neat keyword or card text Volrath needs, he can get. Need evasion or protection from a sword to plowshares? Volrath can turn into Invisible Stalker, gaining both Hexproof and Unblockable. Need to survive a board wipe? Turn Volrath into Young Wolf, returning to the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it thanks to Undying. Looking to one-shot opponents? Turn Volrath into Jota's Avenger, use its ability to give Volrath double strike, and while that ability is still on the stack, turn Volrath into Blighted Agent to attack with an unblockable 6-4 double strike infect creature for an easy kill. Unsurprisingly, Volrath has insane combo potential, so let's talk combos. There's tons of combos in our deck, but I picked some of my favorites to talk about here. One of our infinite mana combos involves Volrath the Shapestealer plus Viridian Joiner and an untapper like Pili Pala. Turn Volrath into the Joiner, tap for 7 green mana, spend 1 green mana to turn Volrath into Pili Pala, then spend another 2 mana to untap Volrath and generate 1 mana of any color, generating infinite colored mana in the process. Spend that infinite mana on Exsanguinate or whatever other finisher you can dream of. You can also replace Pili Pala with Farmstead Gleaner, so Volrath gets infinite plus one plus one counters on itself to win with combat damage or with a stylish Simic Ascendancy win. Another infinite involves Volrath the Shapestealer, Devoted Druid, and Grim Poppet. Turn Volrath into the Druid, tap him for green, put a negative one negative one counter on him to untap him, then tap and untap him three more times for a total of five mana generated. Then spend 1 mana to shift Volrath into Grim Poppet, letting you remove the negative 1 negative 1 counters and put them on other creatures. You can keep shifting into the Druid to generate mana and negative 1 negative 1 counters and back to the Poppet to machine gun down all opposing creatures with infinite negative 1 negative 1 counters. You can also replace the Poppet with Wickerbow Elder to destroy artifacts and enchantments instead. My favorite combo, however, involves Volrath, Nakata Warpride, and Biovisionary. We turn Volrath into the Warpride and attack an opponent that has at least two creatures, triggering the Warpride's ability to make two or more copies of itself. Then with the Warpride's ability on the stack, we turn Volrath into Biovisionary, so the tokens that are entering the battlefield are actually copies of the Biovisionary. 
Then if we have four or more biovisionaries at our end step, we just win the game. To do all these cool stuff, we're going to need ways to reliably put counters on the creatures that we want Volrath to turn into. Volrath can add a counter to a creature once per turn by himself, but we'll want other mana efficient sources of counters as well. One of my favorite cards for this is Tetsumok, Primal Death. While Tetsumok is in our hand, we can repeatedly pay one black mana to put a prey counter on any creature. Not only is this a cheap, reliable way to put counters on creatures for Volrath, but later on we can cast Tetsumok, which will then devour all of its prey. Om nom nom. Other excellent sources of counters include Renata, Called to the Hunt, Master Biomancer, and the Great Henge, all of which passively put a plus one plus one counter on creatures entering the battlefield under our control. In fact, since a lot of the best cards to enable Volrath put plus one plus one counters on our creatures, we're going to be adding a plus one plus one counter sub theme to our deck. Plus one plus one counters will fuel our ramp like Incubation Druid and Rishkar Pima Renegade, draw cards off Fathom Mage and Inspiring Call, and even add alternate win conditions with Hadana's Climb and Simic Ascendancy. Our plus one plus one counter sub theme ensures that our deck has tons of powerful plays even if our Volrath plans get shut down. Putting it all together, our deck is a weird Volrath bag of tricks with a plus one plus one counter sub theme. Our deck puts plus one plus one counters on all our creatures, beefing them up while also using the counters to fuel Volrath and our other plus one plus one counter support cards. We have tons of powerful and unique options to ramp, draw cards, remove our opponent's stuff, and eventually win the game with some stylish combos or just raw creature beatdowns. This video comes with three sample deck lists. They are currently priced at $50, $100, $200 US at the time of this recording. You can find links to them in the video description below, as well as a written guide to the deck that goes far more in depth than this video. And that's it for Budget Volrath the Shape Stealer. I hope you enjoyed my take on this weird, janky commander. Let me know what commander you'd like to see covered in a future video by posting it in the comment section below. Until next time, friends. See ya! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.